Hello and welcome to the introduction video for the Horizon SDK. In this video, I will be showing you how to set up our SDK within Unity together with AR Foundation. AR Foundation is now the default tracking engine since it is shaping up to become the standard way within Unity to create cross-platform AR applications. We will be starting out with an already functioning AR Foundation project. Now, if you have never heard of AR Foundation or simply want to know how to create such a project, I will do another video on that in the same series as well. So keep an eye out for it. So this is the AR Foundation project. I've put a link to it in the description below so you can download it yourself. You'll have to go into the AR Foundation scene and you'll find the default uh, AR Foundation objects with an AR plane visualizer and also these uh, interaction objects like a cube, a sphere and a canvas. And this is to show you how to interact with objects inside horizon mode. Now to convert this, you'll have to add the horizon SDK. I've already done it, done that. So you'll find it here and you'll need to add these prefabs. So let's do that. And since we are using AR Foundation, you'll have to tell it that you're doing that by clicking this AR Foundation here on the Horizon game object. Now you'll have to wait for it to finish loading. There you go. And that's basically it. Now you can run this scene on your phone and let's simulate that here by going into play mode. You'll find this button has been added. That's the Horizon UI. And when we click that, we go into Horizon mode. Now we can simulate putting the phone inside of the headset by tapping here on landscape. And you'll see we are interacting with this object here uh, and we have a stereoscopic view, so it functions in the headset. Now let's see how this interaction works. So we've added the input controller, which automatically creates this reticle inside of horizon mode or the stereoscopic view. And this automatically works with UI uh, elements like a button. There's no need to uh, do anything else than you would normally do for a screen overlay canvas where you would just uh, use a mouse input as input. Now the uh, reticle automatically is the input for uh, UI elements. However, this is not true for game objects or like 3D objects. Um, for that to function, you will need to add this Horizon Raycast object and have a collider on there. So the uh, raycast is sent out to the object, it collides with this collider, and it detects that there's this horizon raycast object on there and it knows um, that it should interact with it. So this is an example on how to do that. Now let's go into detail a bit more on this horizon object. As you can see here, there's set horizon mode on start that's if you want to automatically trigger the, the horizon mode when you hit play. You can auto disable the camera and this means that inside of uh, AR Foundation when you uh, run, and run it on your phone you see this camera background. However in your headset you don't want to see this camera feed so we disable it. So this is um, recommended to, to have uh, on. And it's on by default. So, on the Horizon Pose object, you'll see this uh, Pose Simulator in Editor, and this will create a Pose Simulator. And let's see what happens when we run this. Once we go into Play Mode, into the Stereoscopic View, if you hit Alt or the Option key on Mac uh, and move your mouse you'll be able to look around. And also uh, while holding Alt and like moving 
hitting the arrow keys you can move around. If you have your, uh, your own tracking implementation, you will have to pick other here and use a transform like any object you have in the scene which uh, follows your tracking implementation you'll have to put it in here and then uh, the horizon pose will be applied from this object if you want any objects to follow you you can add them in these, this list so when you walk around you can have an object uh, behind you somewhere or in front of you and you can add them in this, this list like a heads up display you might want to put it in here now there's this always apply pose here so what does this do when we check this and hit run you'll see that even though you're not in horizon mode you'll still be able to look around so there's this rotate when not tracking option here and if for whatever reason your tracking engine doesn't start or you have hit or checked other here then it still uses the gyroscope inside of the phone uh, to allow for rotational tracking so no longer six degrees of freedom but still three degrees of freedom so now you know how to convert your AR foundation project to work with the Horizon headset. We can't wait to see what you guys make of it. Good luck and thanks for watching. Bye.